Hey guys, thanks for watching the Fast Lane Truck. My name is Tommy Micah. Now for those of you who don't know, I am Roman Micah's son. I do a lot of our off-road Jeep stuff on our other channel, the Fast Lane Car, in a program called Diffloc, which is all about off-road adventures. But today we're out here with this, our long-term 2017 Nissan Frontier S King Cab. On this episode of the Fast Lane Truck, our top five likes on the base model Nissan Frontier. Number five has to be this, the manual transmission, which is becoming a bit of a rarity in the new truck market today. Now this manual transmission is very easy to use. The clutch feels great, the throws are pretty short, and it really just increases the engagement and driving experience of this truck. The other thing too is because this is just a four cylinder, two and a half liter, we are able to maintain high RPMs with this transmission if we need some passing power or some more oomph. And gas mileage isn't bad either. It is rated at 21 MPG combined. At number four, we have bed access. With me here is a 2017 F-150 Raptor, a truck that is completely different in almost every respect to the Frontier, but it's here to prove a point. The Frontier is two wheel drive and the access to the bed is super easy. I think it's fair to assume both of the owners of these trucks are gonna be using the bed and are gonna need to get stuff in and out. So to demonstrate, I've got a drill here. With the Frontier, I can easily touch the floor, easily grab what I need, I can see into it. So I've got my drill here. Now with the Raptor, I can put it in, but look at the height difference. Getting it out, you really have to reach, and if you're shorter than six feet, you're gonna have some issues. So the Frontier is definitely an easier truck to use day to day, at least in terms of bed access. Number three is ride quality. All of us at the TFL truck team were surprised by how well this little truck rides and drives. Part of that could be down to the fact it's two-wheel drive. It sits a little bit lower than the four-wheel drive configurations. We also have these tiny 15-inch wheels with this huge sidewall on these general grabber tires, which really helps. Overall though, the ride does not judder over small bumps. It does not crash over big bumps. At number two, we have value. Now the Nissan Frontier is the most affordable truck available in the US today. It starts at just over $18,000. We do have the S preferred package in this truck, which I would strongly recommend. This brings the price up to $20,750. Also, we have the addition of floor mats. Now this S preferred package gives you stuff such as air conditioning, cruise control, dome lights, a sunglass holder, really basic things that I really think will improve your day-to-day -day life and even possibly the resale value of the truck. Now the great thing about purchasing an affordable truck like this is expectations tend to be a little bit lower than when you buy a 50, 60, 70, even $80,000 truck. Every little surprise has just been baffling to us and a welcome addition, such as the smooth ride quality, the refinement of the interior. These surprises and additions that go beyond our expectations mean that we're always a little bit astounded with how refined it is, how smooth it is, and these are things that really improve the ownership experience. And the number one thing on our list has to be this truck's honesty. It's not trying to be something it's not. It's not trying to be a sports truck. It's not trying to be a luxury truck. And we know that it knows that. 
It's just trying to serve its duties, trying to haul your dogs to the vet, maybe bring a trailer around every now and then, help around the garden. This truck is a useful tool and for that it's great. So there will be no video top five things I hate about the Nissan Frontier. That's just not how we roll. Some critiques I have would be standard lumbar adjustments for the driver and the passenger. I do like the fact that it has roll up and down windows, but I would like to see power locks and a remote keyless entry as standard. I can live with the non-power mirrors. Please let us know what you think of this video, what you think of this little truck. Please stay tuned for more awesome truck videos. As always, I'm Tommy Maiga.